What would happen if you bred a sheep with this insane vertical? A muscle dog with this insane muscles. Look at that broad chest. Yeah. A Prolovia, you know, just looks psycho. Because if you, you, you breed that, you're just going to have a crazy looking dino. It can dig too. So you got some long claws. What if you bred that with a beaver? Those insane serrated, apparently, teeth. Cut through anything. Swim pretty fast with a saber tooth. Look at those teeth. Those teeth are crazy. And those claws. Probably could climb a tree with those claws. And you can jump even further. So you get the height. Oh. Cool. And you bred a bear into it. That would be slick. It would just be bigger and stronger. I wonder what you would get if you put all of that together. You'd get this. A ninja cat. That's what it's called. It's called the ninja cat. It has another name that takes pronouncing, therefore I'm not going to do it. He's going to be referred to as Ninja Cat. What are you eating? He's eating some grass? Okay, sure. And this Ninja Cat, you probably know about it already. By now, you if you don't know about it, you're a little late. But I'm going to tell you about him. He is basically the king of the Redwood. So this thing can basically run up any vertical surface. Where's the redwood biome? It's like this wall here. Oh no. Run up it. Hey. Okay, run up it. There you go. Any vertical surface. Surface. So if you have a base. So if you have a base with high walls, just run up the walls. Super simple. Like this rock right here. Run up the rock. Is that a micro raptor? I've never actually seen one in the wild. There's multiple. Oh my gosh. Everything bullies bullies the parasaur. Look another one. Can they run on water? That's what it looked like. They were just running on water. They look like psycho chickens. But yeah, we're at the redwood biome. And they just live in trees. They spawn in the trees. That's pretty much it. That's all they do. They run up trees, they can go up any tree. And once in that tree, they can do a pounce maneuver. Oh my gosh, why do you have to stop to poop? Just do it on the run. See, there's one on the ground. But I want to get it out the sky. Oh, look, there's another ninja cat. Oh, you didn't make it. But you see, a ninja cat on the ground is not as cool. Can we ninja cat a ninja cat? That one looks like a tiger. Look at it. Doesn't it? Just like a tiger roaming the forest. Oh, okay, here we go. No, he's flying too high. Now I'm in the tree cover, I can't see. Oh, here we go. And he jumps on him. And he just like, tiger kicks him. So he can, pro he can pretty much pounce on anything. Smaller than him, from what I saw. And he's a pretty big cat. Beaver cat, dire beer, polovia. Can you ninja cat? A ninja cat, let's see. Wait, what? I just like... We just fused. <laughs> we just fused, we were a super ninja cat. What the hell? I jumped down to pounce on him, but now we're one. We're unstoppable. So I was using the ninja cat for the first time. I spawned one in on my single player server. And I was talking to Gangrel, and Gangrel was telling me how to use him. 
because he's used one before. I've never tamed one. And he was explaining how the pouncing works. And then I noticed that you can, oh, that you can jump almost vertical. Like the arrow, the lock on arrow is almost vertical. So I said, okay, wonder if you can jump. And I tried it. And he jumps extremely far. I think further than the Capro, right there, that jumping crocodile guy right there. I was like, that's crazy. So I was wondering if you can jump from tree to tree. And the first time it didn't work. But with a couple of hours of training, I was able to master it. And I found that you can actually never touch the ground in the redwood biome. So my goal today is to cross the redwood biome without touching the ground.
So I'm running low on stamina. Um, you can't do it unless you have like over 2000 stamina. So for the sake of the video, I took a moment to turn it to day, just so I can see better. Whoa.
We did it! We crossed the redwood biome. We did have to give ourselves some stamina because I don't think we could have done it without that. Um, if you have a really high level, I guess you could do it. Um, I'm saying, I said 2,000, I'm thinking more 3,000 stamina in order to jump from tree to tree throughout the entire redwood biome. Um, you don't really need it to be that high because what, oh, you see my ninja outfit? I didn't show you guys. If you're gonna ride a ninja cat, you have to have a ninja outfit. You know, ninja it up. But yeah, um, you just throw up some platforms in the forest. You don't even need to build on it. You just have the platform. You can jump to tree to tree. And then when you're running out of stamina, you just have a couple of your platforms that you land on. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. I didn't think I can do it. There was one time where I got extremely close to the ground. Freak me out. Um, if you did see any like pausing and that footage, um, that's from NVIDIA's screenshot mechanic where you can basically um, freeze that moment in time and take a really good screenshot. So I used that to kind of do a little fun matrix thing there. Uh, hopefully it turned out well. Try it. Anybody who's watching, try and do it. It's extremely hard. You have to kind of go from tree to tree and sometimes you have to jump back and forth like at the end before I jumped across you saw me jump back and forth a few times um, but yeah just to get to the right side of the tree sometimes you have to jump in between trees but yeah try it let me know in the comments if you made it um, if you didn't make it let me know how many tries you took before you gave up or how many times you hit the ground but you kept going like it doesn't matter you can touch the ground it's just you know if you touch the ground keep going keep trying because you'll get better at it um, it took a quite a long time as you saw this was kind of sped up too. But yeah, thanks for watching. This is Codename Mace and Ninja Cat. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Yeah, so if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can Ninja Cat too. It's one thing to own one of these, but it's another to master them. So let me show you this. Let's find a tree. There's a cluster of trees over here. Uh, jump. So when you're climbing the tree, it's a normal climb. Spacebar near the tree to climb it. Hold down to slide down. Hold up to climb up. All right, you climb the tree normally. Now to jump from tree to tree, it's not spacebar. If you hit spacebar, you get a pretty good jump and he auto locks to do the basically he auto locks to climb on the tree so for short trees like this back and forth you can hold spacebar it'll be good but the, the really really difficult thing is the long trees because you can't auto hold spit wait oh, i couldn't get him see if you pounce at a tree he doesn't automatically grab it Look at that sunlight at the side there. So what you do is that when you pounce at a tree, you hit spacebar once, just before you hit it. Just hit spacebar and hold it until he grabs a tree, then you can let go of spacebar. If you if you go to the tree and you tap spacebar, it doesn't do anything. That's the problem a lot of you might have. Is that if you're tapping spacebar, he's not gonna do it. You have to hold spacebar until he hits the tree. So you're going to hold it just before and then hold it down until he hangs onto the tree and then you let go. Maybe if you get better, you can just do short taps. I don't do that. I just, as soon as I get to the tree, I just hold it down. It's guaranteed. But yeah, that's a quick tip. Don't use space wire to jump from tree to tree. Use the targeting. It also, it's extremely accurate. As you can see, like those super long jumps I did, I like really line up the tree. Be careful of the sway. So you see when you get up... I'm just going to change the time. You see when you get up high in the trees? There's a whole lot of sway, but as you can see, it's just an animation. The tree is still below me. So what you do is you aim... You see where it's swaying? You aim for the center of the tree. Kind of it like you follow it from the bottom. You see how that's stiff? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna follow it straight. Follow it straight up. So the tree's gonna be right here. And you pounce, 
hold spacebar, you're on the tree. See, if you go up, that's where the tree is. It's kind of lean. That can make, mess you up a lot of times because you're aiming for the tree that you see where it's not actually the tree that you see.